Welcome to another episode of Hood Games. I'm your host, the 40-year-old gamer, and today we are, I'm going to give my thoughts on Transformers, the video game for the Xbox One, and I hope y'all enjoy the, uh, the, I hope y'all enjoy this um, video game review that I'm going to give about Transformers. Thank y'all very much, and to all my subscribers out there, y'all have a good day. Yes, here we go. Transformers, the video game. Yes, this game is definitely, definitely a part of history. Yeah, Transformers, the video game, it's definitely a part of history, man. This game, I used to watch the uh, cartoon back in the mid-80s, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Transformers, uh, the um, cartoon movie, I've seen that as well, and that was absolutely dope to me. Transformers always been one of my favorite uh, genres, man, to watch on TV. One of my favorite American cartoons back in the days. But this game right here, out of all the, all the other games are based off the Transformer movies, the real life movies or whatever. All the other games are based off the Transformers movies that I've seen. But, um, this game is based off the 80s cartoon Transformers. And that's what I like a lot about this game, man. It's based off the 80s cartoon, and It's dope, man. And I had just recently beat it, man. You know, it looked like, it looked real dope from how it opened up to the uh, Autobot was driving down the street when all this, these, these uh, electronic big ass things or whatever coming up popping up out the ground everywhere and then the Autobots came I guess to investigate it and the um this it was met with the Decepticons man and that's what this game is basically all about man the end of, yeah the intro is kind of dope to me though yeah every boss fight every this this whole game is just about fighting you know Optimus Prime chasing Megatron, man, and this is one of the Decepticons, this is one of the boss fights you have to fight, man, matter of fact, Devastator, and you gotta fight him, like, towards the beginning of the game, man, and he is, I ain't gonna say he hard, man, when you learn how to play the game, it gets easier, but he can be tough, man, if you don't know how to play the game, but this mug is dope in a mug, man, this, this game is just really, really good man you know a great uh, third person action adventure shooter type of game you know like, like I said the intro was was great man at least to me it was man it started off similar to uh, how the cartoons start off in the um, oh in the 80s man you know I really liked it man it's real dope man to me you know it's, it, this is a uh, excellent game man to me you know if you're a big transformers fan you'll like this a lot man you know it's got um you know like i said the intro is good and i, I personally think that you will like it the gameplay is really good too man like i really like the gameplay man like because everything is easy to learn man you know and it's it's actually not even difficult to master and I thought that this was uh, an excellent game because I had recently beat it. And, you know, the intro was great. And it's got great gameplay, man. Like, it's easy to maneuver around. You see, when uh, Optimus Prime do that, when Optimus Prime, when, when it's, everything slows down, that means that you dodge the uh, enemy's hit. And you can counter, you know, you can ca capitalize off of that. You know, I thought that was real neat too, man. I like, I like the weapons on here. I like, you know, I really like the uh, shell shaded graphics, man, and how much it looks like the '80s cartoon, man. 
You know, you people, you, you, you couldn't really know how to appreciate this game if you didn't grow up with these 80s car with the 80s cartoons, man. You know, because that's how that's exactly what this game remind me of, the 80s cartoons, man. But the gameplay is so good in this game, man. It's ridiculous, man. Like, you know, it's it's got like, you know, it's it's got a really really good response, you know, and that's why you're able to dodge these guys' moves at, at, at your own will. I also like how you can um like fight every you, you basically <laughs> you're fighting all of the dopest Transformers characters to me, man. The one, all all the Transformer action figures that the kids wanted in the '80s, man. These these are the characters that they're showing in this game, man. You know, from Starscream to Optimus Prime, Megatron, Devastator. You know, there's it, so many uh, great Transformers characters in this game, man. Yeah, and that move right there, basically, you know, how Starscream can turn into the uh, Starscream can turn into the airplanes or whatever. I ain't gonna lie. I've always, just in my opinion, I always like the Decepticons better than I like the uh, Autobots, man. The Autobots was dope, and my Optimus Prime was dope and all, but, you know, I just thought that, um, you know, the uh, Decepticons were better in they because they chose a better um, body to be in. Instead of being in uh, cars, they decided to get um, airplanes, you know, and jets and shit. They decided to get jets, and that was the way to go, man. I don't know why Optimus Prime them chose cars over jets and all that stuff, but, you know, they do have some, um, they, there is Transformers with jets on their side, but, you know, anyways, man, the gameplay is great in this, man, this got some really great gameplay, you know, it's fast-paced, um, it's, it, it feel like, just in my opinion, I don't know exactly how it is, but it feel like this game is running at 60 frames per second, at least when I play it on the Series X, man. Because I, it, there, it wasn't like nothing to pull off all the moves, man, that you need to pull off, you know. And you just learn, yeah, man. But the, the battles do get like more and more intense, man, as you go along, man. The uh, battles get harder and harder as you fight, man. Like Starscream. Starscream ain't easy to beat, man. You know, these battles get harder and harder as you go along, man, as you fight. Because it seemed like... It seemed like you fighting like every five minutes you fighting some type of boss or something. Like at least that's what it feel like, man. Every five ten minutes, man, that you play this game and you progress in the story, it feel like you, you you getting into it with a boss again, you know. But that's what makes this game dope. It's really action packed. Really a lot of action, a lot of excitement. Yeah, the graphics and the gameplay is really really nice, man. This game is, and it's got a good story to it. Like, you know, basically, like you, Optimus Prime, and all in, in Auto, you you're, you're controlling the Autobots, and you get to pick who you want to be. Not at the very beginning of the game, but at the beginning of the game, they do give you the option to pick who you want to be. Just not at the very beginning. But um, you know, um, I think that um, the story was good in here. Basically. But all you're really doing is just like the cartoons, the old 80s cartoons. Megatron is trying to terraform the planet. And it's your job to basically stop him, you know, before he terraformed the Earth and destroyed the humans, you know. One thing that I wish they would have did is they would have had more detail in this. Because the, there wasn't a lot of detail in, in the... Uh, there was detail in the graphics, but, you know, like I said, I like the Shell City graphics, but... There wasn't a lot of detail as far as like humans and stuff around running around trying to escape or whatever while they tearing up the city. You know, there wasn't none of that, you know, and I, I wish they would have put humans in, you know, because that's basically who they was trying to save. They was trying to save the humans. But instead, you know, they even though they trying to save the humans, you don't really see no humans in this game. All you see is the op the, or the Autobots chasing and fighting the Decepticons. That's it. I can tell you something though, it ain't got, uh, it's, the replay value is, is, is good, it's okay, you know, the reason why I say it's okay, it's not great, but, you know, it's okay, and the reason why is because you can be, like, five or six different op Autobots, if not even more, I'm not sure about the DLC, you know, I don't care about DLC like that, 
You know, I just care about the core game, and that's the one I'm playing, just the core game. And you get to be like five or six different Autobots. The one that I chose to beat the game with, which I beat the game yesterday, I chose to beat the game with, um, with, um, what's his name? Um, um, damn, um, the one that transformed into the dinosaur. Uh, not Optimus Prime, not Bumblebee, um, uh, Mega, or, oh, not Megatron, not Megatron, um, damn, you know, he's one of the, uh, he was in that, they, matter of fact, they just started showing them in the new movie, the, the new Transformers movie that's already even came out, the, uh, the last one that came out, you know, um, uh, I forgot what's called, Transformers Rise of the Beast, Grimlock. That's who I am. I, I was, I'm Grim. You know, I beat the game with Grimlock and and Optimus Prime. And this, it was dope in a mug, man. Like that's why I like this game, man. You can be different Transformers. You know, you can go through the game. You know, as you powered up or whatever, and you got you leveled up some, man. You can go through the game. You know, the whole game again with that character, or you can choose a different character to go uh, to play the game again with, man. But I ain't gonna lie, this was this game was a little bit tough, man. You know, it, I, I would say if you spend at least a few hours on games, man, you'll you'll beat this in a you'll beat this in a couple days. You know, two three days at the longest, man. But if you like me and have a lot of shit going on and have things to do, it's not say it take you. It's gonna take you about a week or two to beat it. You know, and that's just because you ain't playing it all the time. You know, I wasn't playing it all the time, but. This was the main game I was playing. So, yeah, and I think that the story on it is really good, man. You know, like, I really like the story on it. But, um, man, I am mad that at the end that, uh, damn, I think Megatron, uh, well, you know what? I don't get no spoilers, man, but it's a dope-ass game, man, that I think everybody should, you know, any Transformer fan out there, if you're a, trans, a fan of the Transformers, the old movies from back in the days, you definitely want to give this game a try, man. This is one of the dopest uh, Transformers. This, just to me, in my opinion, it's the dopest Transformer game that I've ever played. And I played a little bit of the, a couple of the ones that were based off the movies, but they just wasn't like this, man. Like, this, this this is dope, man. I hope they make part two to this or another one like this, you know, with these shell shaded graphics and the cartoon look from the 80s. Yeah, man, this was dope. I, I, I'll i give this, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. You know, this game would be a 7 out of 10, man, because it's real fun to play, man. You know, it's got good graphics, um, great gameplay, and it's got uh, a good story to it. And it's got some replay value, you know. It's got some, re yeah, because you can be, you can go through the game with different Transformers. So, you know, and that's a plus. So, anyways, guys, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, share the video. And if y'all can find this game for cheap, I say pay for pay about 15, 20 bucks for it. It's definitely worth it. Man. And until next time. Y'all too old to be playing video games.